Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It marks the second commutation under executive authority. Over the weekend, Governor DiCavo sent one Chucky's convict on a one-way ticket home, banning him from Guam for good. Governor DiCavo's Deputy Press Secretary Amanda Bloss clarifies it's not deportation, but commutation as John John Weah agreed to be permanently removed from Guam. So the difference between deportation and commutation is deportation is an action the federal government takes when someone breaks the laws. Commutation, on the other hand, is when the governor exercises his authority under the Organic Act to relieve an inmate sentence. In this case, um, the two cases with John John Wea and Ninten Health, it, they actually volunteered to leave the island in exchange for a commuted sentence. John John Wea is a Chukis national convicted of armed robbery. Come next year, he would have completed his five-year sentence at the Department of Corrections and would be released into the community. While incarcerated, however, Wea didn't utilize any of the educational programs or demonstrate an ability to support himself upon release. That made him an ideal candidate for commutation with the government of Guam left to foot the bill. The one-way ticket costs about $400, and it costs about $119 a day, give or take, um, to house an inmate. So that's about 40000 approximately 40000 a year, so it saves us a great amount of money. Wea joins Ninton Hawk, another Chickies national who was sent away from Guam earlier this month after serving five years behind bars at DEPCOR. Hawk was convicted for the aggravated assault on a minor. Both Wea and Hawk are part of what could be a growing list of those banned from returning to Guam. There is a committee made up of public safety agency representatives that do look under do look at several different um, criteria of the individual to decide if they're, they're eligible for the commuted sentence. Right now, the federal government has um, implied to us that this isn't on the top of their priority, but again, we'll continue to push that because this is a priority of public safety for our island for both residents and non-residents of Guam. According to Guam and federal law, deportable crimes include aggravated felonies, murder, aggravated assault, terroristic activities, rape, sexual assault on a child, and illegal trafficking. KOAM contacted the Federated States of Micronesia Consulate General in Guam, who denied to comment on the issue. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.